I think we are here because there are no places to really innovate within education, especially in our country. And I think that's a problem. Let's talk about why. Let's unpack it just for a minute. This is what education looks like in our democracy. It's a big hairball. We all might have friends working at many different layers of this system. One of your judges is a superintendent trying to do work at that level. Many noble, hardworking, ass-busting people trying to do right by kids in a system that is not designed to be responsive to the people that matter most. And the people that matter most on this slide and in our schools are the people that almost never get talked to or listened to. But what if there was a place where the parents, the teachers, and the students were the center of everything? Everything revolved around what they felt and what they needed. And we actually responded to them. To me, that's what school should be. And that's what we do here at 4.0. We try and focus just on those three core groups of people. Those humans. Those humans focus, uh, that just really get no support. So what do we do at 4.0? It's very simple. We build communities. Because ultimately, I think that's what school should be. And specifically, we build those communities around the people that matter most. Around students, teachers, and the families that those students grow up in. Let's talk about how we do that. So the way we do that, the way we build communities, is by equipping entrepreneurs. You're about to meet 12 unbelievably gutsy people. They're entrepreneurs. A lot of them did not call themselves that six months ago. Some of them still struggle with that word. And that word doesn't mean a damn thing to me, but what they're doing every day does. Because they are actually solving for those three groups of people. They are ignoring all the other stuff, and they're just focusing on solving the acute human needs that the people at the core of our system need someone to address. Not for them from a distance, but with them in super close, like, I can hear you breathing proximity. And that sense of community, of presence, of nearness to the people that we serve is something that is very, very rare in schooling today. And it's what we're trying to create over and over and over again at 4.0. So how do we equip entrepreneurs? The first three steps you're going to see manifest tonight. Everyone you're about to hear from has gone through these three stages. They pick really kick-ass problems, big problems that people face every day. And they took time to say, how can I solve that problem in cheap, fast ways, in close proximity to the person who has the problem, so that they can understand what's actually going on at a human level, and solve that, not try and force the thing that was in their head a month, a year, a week ago, into fruition if no one actually needs it. Like truly being responsive to those folks. And then lastly, everybody here has taken a bet with their life, with their paychecks that aren't coming, with everything about taking the risk to start a new venture. And that is something that you have to hold in tremendous esteem and regard. And I do, I have that tremendous respect for you all. If you can tell, by the way, I've built this slide, there's some space left for number four. What the hell is number four, Matt? This is bigger than just startups. What I really see in the room are not entrepreneurs starting their startups and getting all the praise that we in our Western society give them. What I actually see are the beginnings of communities that are around these startups, that these entrepreneurs are transformed over the next decade into leaders within the communities in which they live where they transform the way we look at school. So they're actually the seeds of a whole ecosystem that's sustainable at the local level and led by people like the folks you're about to hear from. So what do you see on this slide? A ridiculous reference to the Brady Bunch? Maybe. <laughs> a good answer is entrepreneurs. But you know what I see? I see a better New Orleans. I see a better New York City. I see a better Baltimore. I see a better Haiti. I see a better world. That's what these guys are in the business of doing. 
not just building sexy startups we're all really psyched to tweet about. They are fundamentally changing the architecture of how we center our schooling around our children. And that's a big deal. So I cannot tell you how much it means to our team that you are here, because they cannot do this in a vacuum. Everything about tonight is to build dialogue between you and these entrepreneurs. Not for them to talk at you, but for them to talk with you. And you will learn in a second about how you're going to give them that feedback. But that's what we do here. We build community. We don't just launch startups. So ex exciting news that you'll learn about in a few weeks. The launch app for the next season of this exercise that you're seeing come to life now comes alive in, uh, in February. So please keep your eye out. Uh, it's on the headband, and it's up there.